So what you're seeing on the table right now is just a collection of some IoT devices. Uh, all of these devices interact with the Tulip interface. Um, I'm going to start with the devices and then we can talk a little bit about the applications. Uh, up in the top corner here we have the Tulip Gateway. This is really the, the device that is the communication between your computer, the Tulip app, all of the individual devices, and let's say like an ERP or an MES system. So this is what's going to push and pull data, collect information from the devices, trigger responses from devices. Uh, the top right corner or front corner here we have an and on light. Uh, these are primarily just used for the top of this uh, to go over like a station or a machine. These can be used for if someone needs like a call for help, it turns red so a uh, supervisor can quickly identify where he needs to go or it can just be a general overview of like is the machine on, is the machine off, that kind of information. Uh, we've got a brake beam sensor up front here. Brake beams, uh, typically what we've seen is the most common application for them being, let's say I've got a pictolite system with bins. I could put brake beams over each bin so I know if my, my operator's picking the correct components and then the system can alert him if he's picking the wrong bin. Uh, next up, we have the just generic barcode scanner, collect barcode information. We've got uh, humidity and temperature sensors. So in some processes, it is dependent on the humidity of the room can affect your scrap rate, especially like think like casting type applications. And finally, we have the pick to light system right here. This is primarily going to be used for picking out of bins, picking tools. So we can adjust both what color the lights light up, how many lights light up per bin. We can do different size bins and that kind of stuff. So there's over there's hundreds of different uh, things you can integrate with this system, uh, ranging from digital scales, Cognex cameras, uh, quality inspection. Uh, you could do digital calipers. You could do all sorts of different things. So in terms of applications that we typically see as the best use case, um, we're seeing the number one most common being assembly operations, complex assembly operations or assembly operations where you're trying to collect data kind of behind the scenes. Uh, another big one is machine monitoring, being able to track your machines, uptime, uh, first pass yield, that kind of information. Uh, we look at uh, training. So in a lot of cases, training for a lot of companies is taking your best performing operator off the line sticking him with your new employee and basically having him walk through the steps. Well, instead of doing that, have the employee working with an app that's training them, walking them through the steps so you don't have to pull your best operator off, off their job. Uh, another one being uh, process monitoring in general. So if you're just a process engineer that wants to be able to open up and get a live snapshot of what's going on on your floor right now, that's something we can do. We've done uh, quality control walks like Kaizen events, Gemba walks, and basic things like that. It's really flexible to whatever you need information about. So for right now I'm going to walk through just a real quick demo of a uh, assembly application. This is just for a bike. Uh, go ahead and hit start. First thing it's telling me to do is it wants me to scan a barcode to determine let's say what bike I'm assembling if I have a work order. I just have a generic barcode right here. I'm going to scan. It takes me to the first step based on the output of that barcode. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now, we can have pictures, videos, documents embedded in, in the instructions. We've got the actual instructions themselves. We've got the parts we need, detailed maps. I've got the temperature sensor hooked up to this particular app, as well as work order information. So again, like I said, if you're connecting with an ERP system, you would be able to directly pull from that ERP and display that information. Uh, what you're seeing on the apps themselves, or the devices themselves, is a basic Pictolite system. So in this case, let's say all my parts were in bin one, the light is directing me to go to bin one. Move ahead in the app. See, as, as I move each step, the Pictolite system will move. So for, for this step, I've, I've made it so that the, bin, the brake beam will react to the step. Uh, let's say I had brake beams over all the individual bins. I could then Say if I put my hand in the wrong bin, I could have the whole system turn red, or in this case, just the and on light would turn red. Just a couple more steps here. You can just see the lights changing with each step. A couple other quick things to highlight in this. We have uh, reporting defects from the station itself. So operators can not only list what's going on, they could choose like common, common defect reoccurrences to create like Pareto analysis. Um, we can have operators be able to give feedback at their station, so you could link it to like an email of a supervisor, something that's not necessarily urgent, but maybe like a, hey, I need help with it, or not necessarily I need help, but 
I think this would be done better if we did it this way, or I'm, I've had a consistent problem doing this step. And then finally, we have a call for help feature where we could actually pause the application, send a text message to the supervisor and say, hey, I need as assistance right now. That way the supervisor knows immediately when some, something's gone wrong on the line. Uh, all of this is done without any code and is live updating every five seconds. On the analytics side, we can capture pretty much any variable we set throughout the, the apps, whether that be uh, step time, user uh, time to complete each step. You could do, like we said, the scrap analysis. You could do uh, Pareto analysis. Um, all of this is collected in the background, and we can create different, different um, analytics based on that. Uh, these can also be displayed in dashboards, so basically like having like a screen on your line that would tell everyone exactly what's going on at all times. So this is just a really basic overview of what we can do with this system. Uh, we talked a little bit about the different devices, how they communicate with the apps themselves. Uh, we did a quick overview of a couple of the applications that you can work with. Um, like I said, this is really high level. Uh, we can do all sorts of different challenges. We look forward to hearing from you with your different challenges, whether that be training new operators, uh, airproofing your assembly processes, um, collecting live data, and not and all of this without having to do any kind of coding whatsoever. Uh, if you're looking to get your business up to the industry 4.0 level, definitely reach out to us and see if we can take on some of your challenges.